this might be our last coffee made in this van for months. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty gutted. Will I ever have a video where Keely's not crying? <laughs> Good morning, good morning. We're coming at you live from a car park close to the airport, which has been the story of our lives for like the last two weeks. <laughs> so we left you guys last week, missing our flights. <laughs> it's now been four days, and we're about to go to the airport again. First, we gotta pack this van down. We gotta do all the necessaries. I'm definitely feeling apprehensive. Something, no, nothing's gonna go wrong. I'm gonna... so let's speak positivity, man. I can't cope if anything was wrong. But guys, can you believe that four days ago this van was fully packed down? Because now look at the state of it. The van, it's like a bomb has went off in this van. Uh, so we need to repack, we need to pack down our van, we need to go get a McDonald's breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> good times are coming, I can smell it. Please, can you... please, can good times come. And if you're you gonna say can you smell that and you're gonna say it's my breath and Those I'm gonna kill you. Good times smell like bad breath. <sighs> <laughs> you on coffee, Judy? I'm surprised you find somewhere to sit in that mess. I know, honest to goodness. I think this is like the worst the van has ever been. It's pretty grim, but it'll be clean in half an hour. Gosh, this van's a mess. Oh, Lord in heaven, fell over it. Steady on, it's a bit early for that. <laughs> This might be our last coffee made in this van for months. Uh, you said that four days ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I feel hopeful. And I feel afraid saying that I'm hopeful because honestly last night I just felt like it's all gonna go wrong, everything's crap. And I'm really, really trying to believe and manifest that good things are coming today. Yeah. Like, and I know this might be silly, it's only a flight, but it's our track record of things that have happened. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's why we're super anxious about literally everything right now, because, yeah. you know, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong to us. But it's not going to. In the past, the past yes. iteration of ourselves. We're leaving this behind. Please. We're leaving this behind. <laughs> Fill yourself with hope and like point it to our direction, yeah. please. Send us all the good vibes that something's going to go right for once. I believe, I believe, I believe. No matter what happens, we trust that it is what is meant to happen. And we will roll with the punches and just, just, <laughs> just keep on trucking. <laughs> just keep getting punched. Uh, anyway. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we've done everything that we can do right now. We've packed the van down. I need to turn that fridge let me, off. Let me show you around. Um, yeah, we've packed the bed down, we've stripped it, we've turned it around so there's some airflow. Um, so there's going to be no mould, hopefully. We're going to leave a little window open. Um, we're leaving our CCTV on for a little bit anyway. Um, what else have we done? You've turned off the fridge. Cleaned the fridge, turned it off. We need to empty our water, turn off our gas. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's it. See your diddle detox did you well? Excuse me, people are being very kind and supportive, okay? Posted on Instagram about us trying to do something crazy today and people are sending the good vibes and the hopes that it works out and I'm receiving them, I'm putting them on and it's gonna be good, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it's familiar, isn't it? <laughs> Please, I do not want to be back here for at least two months. <laughs> oh, he says here. Oh, closer to that side, he says. So we have arrived at the parking place. We're about to park her up. She's all packed down. Everything is ready to go. But our van insurance is due to run out tomorrow. We have got hooked up with Sterling Insurance and they have covered us for 365 in Europe. They have got us contents insurance and everything. So I feel at ease that our full conversion is covered. They cover all sorts of weird and wacky conversions. So if you are interested in van insurance and you're already on the road, I'll put a link down in the description because they have massively saved us on this trip. So now we gotta hit the road. Fingers crossed we catch these flights. Keely's going to give him some some biscuits. <laughs> okay, I know I said this before. Please stay safe. She will. She will. Let's go. Okay, we'll see you back here in one hour. Uh, I hope no. <laughs>
have a nice flight Thank and a nice trip. Bye bye. Good luck. Checking in. Well, I mean, we're like four hours early for our flight, but we're gonna try and check in anyway and just see if everything seems okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Show me what you got. We got a tikka baba. <laughs> okay, so this is the first step of a lot. Yeah, we're taking it one step at a time. We're like one hurdle at a time. Not get overwhelmed with all the potential flights that could possibly go wrong. But right now, it's, it's, a, it's a little wins, isn't it? It's a little wins. You gotta baby. take them. and spray perfume. <laughs> Does everyone not do that? Go to, off, what do you call it, Judy? Off Judy. <laughs> off Judy. Judy free. Go to Judy free and spray perfume. I love going okay. off Judy. I've obviously had too many coffees right now. Hi, bye, bye. We're at the gate, guys. We're okay. Not yeah. on the plane yet. Definitely my anxiousness has settled down a little bit. So much. Yeah. It has so much. Because we're in through security and now yeah. we're just chilling. Thankfully, everything's going. Everything's going good. It's going well. You have to use the seat belt. Tap on the bumper. Tap on the police center in the security area. To fasten your seat belt, put your hands together and tighten it by pulling the loose end to unfasten with the cover of the buckle. Pentru a cumpla centura de siguranță, prindeți capetele și strângeți strângând de capătul liber pentru de cumplare ridicați capacul capătului. So, we weren't together that whole flight. Did you miss me? I missed you so much. I was so bored. And I started watching the people around me all on their devices like some weird creep. And then anytime they see me out of the corner of their eyes, like... <laughs> you are creepy. I was watching Romanian top model at one point. <laughs> anyway... Off to Terminal 1, we're, we're in Dubai. Dubai. Guys, it's so freaking hot here, so humid. Yeah, my glasses steamed up mm -hmm. when I got off the plane. You seem really on edge. I'm, um, I'm, um, yeah, I'm, um, uh... Why are you so on edge? I don't know, I'm just nervous, but it's cool. It's we got cool. this? It's cool, it's cool. It, look, things are going well. Things are going well? Is that why you're on edge? Yeah. <laughs> now, give me some food and then hopefully I'll be okay. I'm actually fully salivating like a dog. We've got to find somewhere where we can lie down and sleep in this airport because we can't check in until like 8 a.m. tomorrow. So it's currently 20 past midnight. So we've got about seven hours sleep in us. Eight hours. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drop us some knowledge before we go to sleep. About what? Just about life. Give us a, a nice, like, I don't know, something nice and wholesome to go to sleep over. That's quite a lot of pressure in my go, sleepy, go. curry What's Halloween. your first, first thing that comes in your head? Go, um, go, go. Uh, I'm really everybody has to live their life by this motto. Go. My motto was just going to be to be grateful for you, the one I love no matter what. This is all that matters. Me? Yeah, us. Oh, that's so nice. So there you go guys, there's a the motto, love me <laughs> and everything will be a-okay. Good night. We'll probably not sleep very well, but we'll keep you updated. Yeah? Love you guys. Night, night, night. Good night. Fashion coin. Um, I can't get my climbing shoe back. You're like a little garden gnome. <laughs> yeah. I thought this bus is so far. So good. <laughs> I'm actually emotional. <laughs> Guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're actually booked on to our next two flights. No visa required. I just feel so relieved. I think we'll ever... <laughs> felt me. We'll ever have a video of Hercules not crying. <laughs> to be in my defence, we Such made videos moan. for a whole year without me crying. It's just been a lot of stuff piling up and I just show my emotions raw. The whole point of this vlog is that we're sharing our life, all the highs and lows. 
So if you perceive my crying as me moaning, that's okay, I'm just being honest. But I feel like you have to answer the question that everybody is asking right now. What? What is this? What is it? What is it? Oh, the clips fall, oh, shut up. Oh my goodness, I just can't. I'm so grateful. I am so, so grateful and relieved. And now it's, now it's time to get excited. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty gutted because I've just noticed there's no TVs on this flight. Oh, I'm just so relieved, man. I'm literally just so relieved. <laughs> you are where you were, honestly. I, know, I have been. I've been so I, stressed. I haven't seen you this stressed. In I've a been long time. so stressed. <laughs> fight to go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Delhi International. International welcome, thanks to Air Captain. Captain air Captain? Pilot. <laughs> Thank you, Air Captain. Nice to meet you. <laughs> One step closer, baby. Yeah. Last flight. It is last flight. It's been a long. It's been. I don't even know. How I don't long. even know how many days we've been traveling right now, but. Um, <laughs> it feels like weeks. I'm ready. Okay, this is it. We are on the last leg for now. So we're in Thailand, hopefully for a couple of weeks, and then heading on to Japan. Fingers crossed. But for now, we're gonna try and get some sleep in the plane. We're literally in. We're Three in. passport control, yeah, everything. Yeah, the guy was so lovely. I got to tell him that we're going to Japan. And now we just got to get our bags and get a taxi and get into bed because this energy is not real. It's like 6 a.m. <laughs> we got our bag and everything's okay. And we've got cash out, so we're going to go get a taxi. And Good things are coming and it's really confusing for me because it feels like it's been bad for so long that it's like, uh, it's so good. I'm so relieved by everything that my brain just can't compute. Plus, I'm really tired, so. It's actually insane because I just resigned myself to the fact that I at really, some point something is gonna go wrong. So yeah. the fact that we're just here now and everything has went right, it's it's flipping awesome. This place we're staying in is ridiculous. Whenever we were looking at places to book for Bangkok, we were like, let's just put in the parameter, like the same price as a campsite back home, like 20 quid a night. And it turns out 20 quid a night can get you the bougiest five-star hotel we'll probably ever, ever stay in. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird though, coming from such like a minimal space to having all of this space. Space. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome to my crib. Oh lord. <laughs> this is where we keep our toilet roll. So it's just easy accessible <laughs> to the toilet. See. Oh, sorry. Is the second biggest room in our house. 
pretty much the same size as our last space. It's literally like the size of the living space in the van, isn't it? Oh. This is where we like to bath. Sometimes I just like to come and sit in here, like this, read a book, just... Yeah, we've got books with us. <laughs> we've got two beds because, you know, why not? Guys, he's made me sleep here while he sleeps here. Apparently, he's spreading out more important than cuddling. Okay. Keely's pants. Keely's runner clothes. It's just, it's quite a lot, guys. It's nice for a few days, but I definitely think for us and our personalities that we should go back to like a bit more of a minimalist, smaller budget space, but mm -hmm. it's been friggin' sick. Yeah, it's been so nice. All we've been doing here is pretty much just working. Now we have got rested, recovered, we've finished all our work, but it's time to go and explore Bangkok. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, so we just checked out, and now we're going to try our hand at getting some public transport. We're going to try a bus. Yeah, because why not? Hi guys, we're on a bus. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We waved the bus down. As you can see, this bus is jam-packed, it's shoulder to shoulder, it's psych, it's completely empty. I'm obviously not used to carrying a bag around because yeah. my shoulders and neck I've only walked about 30 metres. <laughs> There's been a flood. Very deep rain. At least you got your coat. You're welcome. Hmm. Hold on a minute. We cannot go out wearing the same t colour t-shirts. Twins. <laughs> Definitely not. This morning is the first morning where we haven't had to do something. We haven't been editing. We decided not to set our alarms and get up naturally. Guys, that was a mistake. Yeah, that was a massive mistake yeah. because it is currently, it's currently like half one. And for the first time ever, guys, I can make a joke about Philly being the one with bad breath this morning. <laughs> yeah, is it? No, it's not. It's fine. It smells like roses. <laughs> Dead roses. <laughs> right, anyway. I'll get changed. Happy now? Yeah. Are you ready? Have you brushed your teeth? Shh, shut your face. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, here's the beer. Thank you for breakfast. The beer? <laughs> Curry and beer for breakfast. Thank, Thank you. you. So I actually think Billy's gonna love this. So I want you to have a taste. Oh my god, that's so yum. I'm drunk. I love Thailand. food so much. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you need to get to Thailand and taste real food. I'm not joking, it's friggin' awesome. 80 baht, that's like two pounds yeah. for an entire main meal. Yeah. Like that blew my mind. That is so good. Hey buddy. Wow. This is so cool. Didn't expect that. No, it's just like getting washed up on these steps because you seen yesterday it has been raining like mad here. It's just proper flooded. Oh, this guy. Sorry. Oh, help him up. Help him up. There you go, buddy. Anyway, back to your story. Oh, my story was like. It's just cool when you get off a plane and some are so vastly different and it's just, I'm really loving it. Even in the rain yesterday, it was like, I don't even care that we're soaking, this is just so cool. Usually I've always got the van in the back of our minds. Yeah. Um, 
or like where we're going to park tonight, things like that, things just um, that have just been in our minds for the past like three years. Yeah, yeah. All we worry about is ourselves and the bags on our back, and it feels so good, guys. It really does. Like I can't wait to get back to the van, and we do check on her on our little CCTV, and we know she's safe and stuff. But see, for now, this this light feeling, it's friggin' brilliant. We're just going to end this one here, and guys, this is a happy ending for once. Well, happy ending has two minutes in Bangkok. Oh. But this is definitely a happy ending to this video. <laughs> we'll go and find the happy ending later. Oh, shoo shoo. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>